setting up the MetaMask crypto card isn't complicated, but there are key details you can't afford to miss if you want to start spending crypto seamlessly. If you skip them, your card might not work as expected. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step. The first thing, of course, is creating your MetaMask wallet. This tutorial does not cover that, but if you don't have a MetaMask wallet yet, check the description. I've linked a video that shows you how to create your MetaMask wallet step by step. It's really simple, but it's good to be guided so you don't make mistakes, especially when it comes to safely storing your seed phrase. It's important to note that the list of countries eligible for the MetaMask crypto card is limited. So make sure your country of residence is on the list before starting. Also, if you wanna learn about all the pros and cons of the MetaMask crypto card, we've already made a video about that. Check it out in the description. With that out of the way, the first thing you need to do is go to MetaMask portfolio website. The link is in the description. Click on the card option. Here, you will create an account and it's going to ask for your email address. After entering your email, it will send you a verification code to confirm it. Then you need to verify your phone number. Make sure it's from a country where the MetaMask crypto card is available. Again, you'll receive a verification code to confirm it. After that, you need to create a password. At first, I entered a password that didn't meet their security criteria, so I had to create a longer and stronger one. Next, you need to complete the KYC process to verify your identity. This step also confirms that you're a resident of a country where the card is available. In this example, the nationality is not from an eligible country, but the person is a resident of Brazil, which is a supported country for the card. Here you'll see a QR code. Use your phone to scan it. That will take you to the identity verification process. You'll be asked to take a picture of your government-issued ID, in this case, a Brazilian document, and then to scan your face for facial verification. Alternatively, instead of scanning the QR code, you can send a verification link to your phone via SMS and start the same process. Once you complete this verification, which is simple and straightforward, they will collect your personal information, including your nationality, full name, and date of birth. You'll also need to fill in your full residential address. After that, the platform will ask you to install the MetaMask extension on your computer. If you don't already have it, this is where you do it. Just add the extension to your browser by clicking through all the pop-ups until it asks you to log in. If you already have MetaMask installed, you can skip this part. But in this case, since my MetaMask wallet is in my cell phone, here's how to proceed. Install the MetaMask extension, then log in by importing an existing wallet. You also have the option to create a new wallet here, but since we already have one, we'll go with importing an existing wallet. You'll need to agree to MetaMask's privacy policies, then enter your 12-word recovery phrase to access your wallet on this device. If you're unsure, this is the 12-word recovery phrase you received when you created your MetaMask wallet. After that, set a password for the MetaMask extension, and now MetaMask is successfully installed on your computer. Next, you need to fund your wallet because you need crypto to activate the card. In this case, the MetaMask account had no funds, so you need to transfer crypto into it. You need to have at least $5 worth of supported tokens, such as USDC, USDT, or WETH wrapped ETH. This deposit ensures you have enough to cover gas fees when approving tokens and setting your spending cap, both necessary steps to enable card usage. To do this, copy your MetaMask wallet address. It's located at the top of the site. Then go to wherever you hold your crypto. In this case, I use Binance. I go to my spot wallet in Binance, choose ETH as the currency, paste the address from MetaMask there, and select Ethereum as the network. For this tutorial, I sent around $25 worth of ETH. Just keep in mind that Ethereum has high network fees, so account for that when deciding how much to send. After confirming the transaction, you'll see your ETH appear in your MetaMask wallet. However, to activate the card, you need to have a few dollars on the Linea network. So the next step is to bridge your ETH from Ethereum to Linea. Here, select your ETH balance or any supported token from the Ethereum network, then enter the amount you want to bridge. I wanted to transfer the whole amount, but realized I hadn't calculated the bridging fee correctly, so I reduced the amount. In this case, the bridging fee was quite substantial compared to the amount being transferred, around 0.07 ETH. Once you confirm the transaction, you just need to wait until the bridging process is complete. After that, go back to MetaMask Portfolio. Now that your wallet is installed and funded, you need to connect it to the portfolio site. Once connected, you'll have the option to swap assets here as well. 
you can do this if you already have funds in your MetaMask wallet. The process is very simple. Just make sure you send some funds to the Linea network to activate the card. In this case, we've already completed the necessary swaps, but it's good to know that within the MetaMask portfolio, you can swap assets directly. So go back to the card setup and indicate that you've already swapped your tokens to Linea. It will ask whether you want to automatically approve spending or set a specific spending limit. Here, we chose automatic approval, but if you prefer, you can set a specific limit and it will give you the option to enter the maximum amount you're comfortable spending with this card directly from your MetaMask funds. Once you finish this confirmation, that's it. You now have access to your virtual MetaMask crypto card. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you find value in this kind of content. And as always, stay curious and stay hodling.